This is Jayco Freshly. So, if you have a Tello drone, um, this is probably something that may have happened to you. You may have come across that you'll be trying to have the drone take flight and then it won't take flight. You know, it'll flip or it won't take off for some reason. You may have tried calibrating or something. Um, and I'm going to show you like what the answer to that problem is and it's a lot easier than you would think, specifically with this drone. So, let me just kind of show what the problem is. I'm going to put this drone out in the yard and so I have my and you can't see much of my tello app and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit the take off button and watch the drone see it, it does this every time uh, I'm gonna try it again just so y'all can actually see so every single time it flips over um, so, and this is actually the second time this has happened to me, and I'm going to let you know what it is. Um, probably one of the first things you did was you tried to calibrate, recalibrate everything on your drone. That didn't work. And then the next thing you probably did is went on YouTube and saw that guy who shows you how to do it. And all he does is, like, point the, the dang propellers in one direction and then takes them off and puts them back on. That does absolutely nothing. So you're probably wondering what's going on. Um, like I said, it's the second time this has happened. I'm about to change it. I'll update y'all. Uh, but the reason this is happening is because you have a broken tip on your blade. And you wouldn't think so because you look at it and you're going to look at them. I hope I can get this definition in here. Um, let's see. So you notice, I hope you can see that. Let's see, that blade is pretty round on both ends, you know, pretty it's square on both ends. Like you look at that, that's probably one of my cleaner, can't really, that's probably one of my cleaner blade tips right there. You see it's very square. And then, you know, you look at, I'm gonna look at the third one right here. So you can see, you see it's pretty square, pretty clean. And now we're gonna look at this blade, which actually was the side it was flipping over on. Once again, I hope you can see. You notice this side is pretty clean. But you're gonna see on both of these sides, you see that little bitty chip right there? And then on the bottom here, you see that, that little, tiny little chip right there? That's what's causing your problems right there. You, you, you're gonna, that's probably ridiculous. And I thought the same thing because I've got a, you know, a couple good sized drones, you know, they used to race, but as far as these little tiny drones, what I call them, I mean, they're not, not many whoops, but they're little tiny drones. Um, they're pretty finicky, especially this Tello brand. Like, so here's my only other one I have, like I said, because I don't really have anything that I can compare it to except for probably my first drone I got a couple years ago. I don't even know if they still make these as a parrot. And it actually, you know, I've got, if you'll notice this, the propellers are tore up. I mean, on all sides. This one's got big chips and dents in it and stuff like that. I mean, it's got spray paint on it where I left it out when I was painting my house. I mean, it is just absolutely beat up, and, you know, the it is just almost destroyed, but this sucker still flipped. It would still fly and take off, um, you know, just straight up, even though the propellers are tore up. And then you compare, you know, these, I mean, there's literally chunks missing in certain, in these, some of these propellers that you could see, it looks like a shark's teeth. But this one will still take off, but for some reason this, this Tello drone just... It's so finicky. It's the second time I've had this happen and I looked and I couldn't figure out. I took off all the things, you know, calibrated it, did whatever I could, was getting ready to return it. And then I was like, you know, that I looked closer and I noticed, oh man, it's a little, little, little tiny chip on the corner of one of the blades. And um, I took off that blade and put one of the new ones that came with it and it flew fine. And this has happened the second time. So I'm pretty sure once I fix this, I mean, it's ridiculous. Like I said, when you look at that, how square that is. And then you look at this one and you kind of want to complain because that little tiny chip right there and then this one's got a chip and full story i know how i chipped them just you know this is why i know why they're going to be because i did chip these i was flying uh me and my boys were rock climbing and we were flying this thing and i ran into a rock wall and knocked knocked one compeller completely in half and then this one's jacked up so I'll let y'all know what happens, but if your drone's flying before you send it back or before you think the only video on YouTube that'll help you is that one guy taking his blades off, you know, go ahead and just get you a new set of blades or throw some blades on there and I guarantee it's going to fly. I'll update you. Thank you.